Do you find the blank page terrifying? Blank page is an annoyance. Like I, I immediately want to put a mark on it. Yeah. Yeah. I like it when there's a bit of pencil on there. I actually um, tend to delete the page I've been working on before and leave some things on there and then we'll start working on a new page so I don't actually have a blank page. We found some really interesting uh, correspondence between a, a few guys who served through World War One, talking about this third person, this man who was this sort of hairy man who was kind of brutally strong and served under the Queen and did various things. And that was definitely a jump off point for doing more research into this, this character, Mono. It's based on some truth. A lot of the questions in Mono's story are about how he fits with mankind. In fact, his central question is, is mankind? Like, so he's always weighing up, like, does he want to be part of man? Or does he want to remain with the beasts and the animals and nature? You see any of yourself in Mono? Oh yeah, yeah. I really, really wish I could rip someone's arms out of their sockets and bash them over the head with their, especially when I'm in meetings. It's hard to get reference for Mono because there aren't many ape men around, but um, Josh is pretty uh, Neanderthal. <laughs> I work with Josh, and uh, no, he's got a, he's got a good solid like athletic body, and he's a good reference for for Mono. It's an amazing age we're in because there's so much material to reference, and I think the quality of a hand becomes even more important because. Otherwise, you're just photo real and you're on the internet taking photos. So it's like, I think the era for art and telling story like this is just getting started again because it's, it's original. So what I've done is I've, I've planned out the storyboard. So I've done what's called thumbnails. And then I'd go into what's called pencil. So pencil stage, which is your underlying pencil drawing. And then ink. And then after you've got the ink, it would be color coloring into the blacks and then we do a thing we call building the book so to bring the animation and, and motion into the book we build it on Mayfi. The ink of mono on the scene I sent he's meant the blacks are meant to be black not a really dark gray so yeah. if you're leaving them black they, they, they're meant to be black if that makes sense but if you want to color into them that's your call but the density of them is meant to be black. So like if I was yeah. putting them in, I'd, I'd up the contrast on the black so that it yeah. all feels like yeah. an in yeah. India ink. It's not meant to feel like a wash black. Yeah, just to keep that kind of foreground um, dominating shape kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It's, yeah, it's not meant to be a washy black. Yep. It could be a broken up black, but not a, a tone. Yeah, no, that's cool though. <laughs> I, I know, I know. The cool thing about comics is if you have a pencil and a piece of paper, you, you can do it. You don't need anything else. The challenge is getting that story found. With Mono, the story I love telling is he's man and beast, and so he really personifies this kind of tension between mankind and, and the planet and nature. And now it's in the digital realm, it can travel anywhere and be found by anyone.